Okay, so let's let's start um, doing the um, nitrogen in this hydrogen cyanide molecule. So we just did carbon. So you can watch that set with that last video. Now we're going to do nitrogen, the same thing, okay? So what do we have to do first when we're doing this uh, hybridization, showing the hybridization? First we have to show the what? The valence. The atomic orbital, so the valence electrons in the atomic orbital, right? And what did we say we wanted to do? Nitrogen, right? So what are the valence orbitals? They have five. Five electrons, but what are the orbitals themselves? 2s, how many? 1, 2p, how many? 3. Right? And then you said valence electrons? 5. Very good. And then? And then 1, 2, 3. Very good. 1, 2, 3. That's 5. Everybody cool with that? Okay, so we can do this a number of ways, but we've drawn out the structure here. What is the um, hybridization for that nitrogen? SP. It's going to be SP, right? Mm -hmm. So we know it from the electronic geometry. We know it that it's a triple bonded nitrogen. We can think of it a number of different ways. Okay, We know that it's making two sigma bonds. Mm -hmm. That's probably the best way to think about it going forward from here. Okay, But if you need to go backwards, you can do it the other way. Okay. Kind of the checkoff ways. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to mix them up or hybridize. Okay. And what did we say we're going to make over here? SP orbital. SP, so how many SP orbitals are we making? Two orbitals. Two. How would we know there's two of them? <coughs> one S and one P. Yeah, because it's SP means that the 1s and 1p got mixed up, right? Yeah. So how do we depict that over here? Remember, we like to draw the box around them like that. So we're having the 1s and the 1p. So let's go ahead, put those there. And what happened to our other two p's over here? Nothing happened to them, right? Did they get stuck in the blender? No. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're just going to put the P up here. And if you want to write 2P, that's fine too. Okay. So now what are we going to do? Let's draw our Electron. electrons in. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, these are relatively close in energy. I know we're drawing them far apart. So you would that's how they're going to feel in this thing. Okay? So if you look at this, how many SP bonds should nitrogen be able to make? One. 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 Does it make one SP bond? Yes. With what? Carbon. carbon. The carbon, right? What orbital in carbon is it making it with? The, the SP orbital in carbon. So you got right? yeah. like overlap there? It's an SP. We'll, we're going to show that. And, uh, if, if I have enough room on camera, we'll show it. Maybe I'll erase this side if, if I don't. So this is the SP carbon orbital overlap, right? What is this here? Lone pair. It's the lone, it's the lone pair. Okay. And what would these two the pi do? Bonds. Then we're going to make the pi bonds, okay? So now I want to show that orbital system, kind of like what we did in class earlier today. Is everybody okay with us doing that? Okay, so it doesn't look like I'm going to have enough room to put it over there. So would anybody be um, too displeased if I erase this side? Okay. You would be displeased? What's up? If you don't know there are triple bond there, how do you know like you know it's triple bond, so you pick, you put the SP. Mm -hmm. If you don't know that, how okay, can you know it's SP? How many, how many sigma bonds is the carbon making? You mean for the whole thing? So the carbon itself, how many sigma bonds? Two. two. So you know you're going to make two uh, sigma bonded bonds. Oh, so it's just like... Uh, and everything else is a pi bond. Okay, that's how to do it. Okay. okay. 
So think about that, try some, and then come back and see if you're having trouble still, okay? Okay, so now let's draw the entire um, orbital system, okay? Or at least ar around the, well, we could draw the entire one because this is a small molecule. So, carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen. See if we're still getting right now. Cool. So, what did we say? Hydrogen has what orbital is it making the bond with? Should be with the sp. Yeah, sp. Oh, the, the sp of carbon. Of carbon but what is the or s, s orbital? S orbital, right? So it looks like that, right? The sp orbital, remember, it kind of looks like a little bit s character, a little bit p character. So I'm going to kind of draw it. Okay, and you don't have to be super exact with these things. So this is what kind of a bond? What would you call this, a? It's a sigma bond, right? That's a sigma bond. Then we're going to show the next one, right? So the next sigma bond is made up of a what? Two sp's. Two sp's. Sp from a carbon and an sp from a nitrogen. So, okay. Remember, the little lobe is the anti-bonding orbital. Okay. That's another sigma bond. That's another sigma bond. Yes. Well, between the carbon and the nitrogen. Yes, between the carbon and the nitrogen. So we made a sigma bond here and a sigma bond here. Okay. And then of course we've got the other SP. What's it doing? Here. The lone pairs. Yeah, the lone pairs are over here. Okay. And then what else do we've got between these carbon and nitrogen? Yeah, the two pi bonds, and we get those from the what orbitals? The p orbitals. The p orbitals. So, oh, sweet. Yeah. Pizza. And then there's the other p orbital. So it gets kind of cumbersome. So. It's like a flower. Yeah, that's nice. Huh? So now we're going to say, okay, so remember that's a half and a half pi bond. So half, half pi bond makes one full pi bond, right? Yes? Are you going to ask us to draw this one so Scantron is multiple? Not on a Scantron, no. <laughs> but if it were a multiple choice, you may see something that looks like this, okay? This is an. Uh, this isn't a very easy multiple choice question to, to actually put a bunch of different structures on the piece of paper. Yeah. Are you going to have bonus questions? Potentially. Don't, don't count on it, though. OK, can, should we show the other five bond? Yes. Right? <clears throat> Do you have any questions? Those are the two uh, pi bonds. Those are the two pi bonds. Yeah, so it's not four bonds. It's two and two, but they're each half bonds. So okay. two pi bonds and one, or two sigma bonds. <laughs> yeah, in the okay. whole of the structure, right? But between the carbon and nitrogen, there's only one sigma and two pi. So in my question, you're asking about atomic orbitals where strictly just would be pulled from the periodic table. Yes. The molecular orbital would be the hybridization. Uh-huh. So yes, you have to show the hybridization or the rehybridization, depending on if it went from like what we were Sorry, talking about. Yeah, something like that, SP2 to SP3. Any other questions? Okay, so that's a pretty detailed one. And we did really well. I like those questions. We cool?